nice to be in the first one, because you're all staring at me like I've just ridden into a bar mitzvah on the back of a pig. <laughs> Said, this is my wife. She's Palestinian. <laughs> Are there any Palestinians in? No. It's probably that wall. <laughs> Uh, uh, my show is called Sympathy for the Devil, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's not that I do have sympathy for the devil, it's kind of that I'm losing sympathy, uh, forgot any sympathy that I ever had. I come from a very religious family. My father's a uh, vicar. Um, I'm an atheist, uh, thank God. <laughs> and it, I used to pray, but God left me, not the other way around, as much. I used to pray, but I, I remember talking with God one night and uh, he said to me, uh, listen, it's not you. <laughs> <laughs> It's me, I just don't think this is working out. <laughs> it's one of these weird things, because like, I, 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 this started, my, my, my confusions with uh, religion started, or, or the, the idea of this show uh, started, when uh, my father and I had a conversation. He bought my daughter, who's three years old, the Easter story. I right, said, so would you read it that? And I was a bit anxious about this, because I was thinking, what other story would you give a child, a three-year-old child, with an execution in it? <laughs> you wouldn't, would you? Once again, Pooh Bear ate all the honey. Christopher Robin was fucking furious. <laughs> Took it outside and beheaded him. <laughs> Silly old bear. <laughs> uh, you wouldn't do it then, so why do it now? I don't have my estimation that the, the, the Bible's full of inappropriate stories for children. I mean, Noah's Ark, you know, the, you're Noah, build us a boat. I'm about to drown every motherfucker. <laughs> Sounds merciful, Lord, I'm on it. Because I, I, I come from this religious family, and, and I, there's conspiracy against me as far as, as my child and bringing her up uh, is concerned. My mother, very religious woman, right, saying to me, you need to pretend to be Catholic, get your daughter into a Catholic school. I'm anxious about this, I was thinking, what, uh, 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 you know, it's again a Catholic school, but what uh, else might she be learning, right, she might be at levels. I don't want to be tucking her up in bed one night in the future, and so she can say to me, Daddy, Daddy, who is Jesus, and why did he die for my sins, and I have to go, he did not die for your sins, you're four. <laughs> you haven't done this since, except perhaps stick a jammy dodger through my speakers. <laughs> For which I will punish you myself. <laughs> Jesus need not get involved in this situation at all. In fact, he's probably wondering which one of his own sins had his own father nail him to a fucking cross. <laughs> So I don't want to be anti-Christian, not trying to be anti-Christian, but there's a lot of hypocrisy, and I'll give you an example of this, right? You can now get sugar-free communion wafers. That's amazing. I think a moment ago, Jesus died for his sins. Now, you're counting the calories. <laughs> Body of Christ. Naughty but nice. <laughs> I couldn't possibly father a moment on the lips. An eternity on the hips. <laughs> How fucking fattening are they in the first place? <laughs> it's not Gatto of Christ. <laughs> you're Ferrero Rocher of Christ. Oh, you're spoiling his father. <laughs> So that's pretty much what my show is about. It's debunking Christianity single-handedly. So if you fancy that, uh, do come. I'm on the Pleasants, 8.20, uh, and uh, it's, that's pretty much my three minutes up. I'll be Mark's phone. Hope to see you. Yeah!